Welcome to Beyond the Trailer's annual breakdown of the year's top films, from their box office performance to my personal preference to yours. Yes, be sure to vote in Beyond the Trailer's poll for the top 10 movies of 2014. The link is in the video description and you can vote through the end of the day on January 4th. Then look for the results right here. So today we're going to focus on box office, first domestic and then worldwide, where foreign audiences are saving more and more Hollywood movies. And of course, the box office for 2014 hasn't totally settled, and we should all keep an eye on The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies, and Into the Woods. But otherwise, this list is pretty set. So why does Hollywood make so many sequels? Because audiences love them. Six of the top ten grossing movies stateside this year are sequels, while the other four are all part of, or the beginnings of, new franchises. But originality in Hollywood ain't exactly dead either, as Interstellar, Gone Girl, Neighbors, and Ride Along all managed to make it into the top 20 domestically. So by far and away the most successful film of the year in the United States was Guardians of the Galaxy. This has been a huge win for Marvel Studios, establishing audience trust, creative freedom, several instantly popular new characters, and opening the door to the cosmic arm of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And while Catching Fire was the top movie stateside last year, this year Katniss and Company had to settle for second place, with over 100 million less. If Guardians of the Galaxy has provided the other studios with a game plan for what to do, Mockingjay Part 1 has provided a game plan for what not to do. Audiences are clearly hip to business fuel tactics which favor profit over story, and make sure your movie has enough action. Yeah, audiences said no to the slow burn. Then Disney is back again in third place with Captain America The Winter Soldier, another impressive win considering how the sequel had to rebound from the tepid first entry, which by the way, didn't make the top 10 in 2011, domestically or worldwide. But maybe Cap should consider cracking a few jokes as once again a funny Lothario upstaged him at the box office. And he even made Hydra an awesome meme, providing even more hours of fun for us all. Fourth place finds the Lego Movie, once again proving Batman's box office might, and that Warner Brothers needs to launch more superhero picks if they want to become competitive in the box office arena. They're also planning to launch plenty more Lego picks, not to mention probably pick up some gold to go with all this cash. The Lego Movie is currently the frontrunner for Best Animated Feature. And just as The Hunger Games slipped a few spots, Transformers did as well. Transformers 3 took second place domestically in 2011, yet this year Transformers 4 only made it to number 5. But don't feel too bad for Optimus Prime and company, as you'll discover shortly. And while Unbroken seems to be, well, broken at the box office and for awards season, Angelina Jolie can claim far more success with Maleficent. So far, all of Disney's live-action fairy tales have placed in the top 10, which means we shouldn't underestimate 2015's Cinderella and The Jungle Book. But with two such pictures from Disney, plus Pan from Warner Brothers, will they end up oversaturating the live-action fairy tale market? And Fox has back-to-back -back hits with X-Men Days of Future Past at number 7 and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes at number 8. An X-Men movie hasn't been in the top 10 domestically since 2006 as The Last Stand, while Rise of the Planet of the Apes also failed to make it into the top 10. As these franchises go into overdrive, particularly X-Men with Apocalypse and Deadpool, expect competition to get into the top 10 to become even more fierce. At number 9 we have The Amazing Spider-Man 2, whereas The Amazing Spider-Man placed at number 7 back in 2012. But neither came close to the original Spider-Man and Spider-Man 3's first place finishes back in 2002 and 2007, while Spider-Man 2 managed to take second place in 2004. Now are you getting a better idea as to why Sony wants to hit restart again? Then finally, the Godzilla reboot just managed to edge out 22 Jump Street for the number 10 spot. If the movie had been as good as the trailer though, it certainly would have been higher, something for Legendary to think about as they prep Godzilla 2. So that's the domestic top 10. By studio, Disney is in the lead with three entries, while Warner Brothers and Fox each have two. Lionsgate, Paramount, and Sony are all on the board with one apiece. Now let's take a quick look at the worldwide lineup. As you can see, China was a game changer for Transformers 4, where it earned a whopping 300 million, more than in any other country, including the United States. Let's also put up the ratios to give you even more perspective. As you can see, almost all the films here earn 70% or more of their money overseas. Mockingjay clearly still needs to work on its overseas appeal, as does Godzilla and the Lego Movie, which both didn't make into the top 10 as a result. Their spots went to Interstellar and How to Train Your Dragon 2, which both did very big business internationally. 
It's also worth noting that Big Hero 6, which is yet to open in many countries, could eventually break into the top 10, unseating Dragon 2 from competitor DreamWorks Animation. But still, Big Hero 6 is no Frozen, which explains why Disney's next princess movie, Moana, has been fast-tracked. As for how original films fared worldwide, besides Interstellar, Lucy, Edge of Tomorrow, Noah, and Gone Girl all made it into the top 20. Not bad, but clearly foreign audiences like sequels and franchises as much as we do. So those are the top 10 movies of the year at the box office, both domestic and worldwide. Any you're happy to see? Any disappointments? Any surprises? Be sure to leave your thoughts down below, and don't forget to vote for your top 10 via the link in the video description. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.